See, that puts a lot more power in the town because say you do have a nice piece of property that has a nice little rural vista that mm -hmm. you want to preserve, mm -hmm. he can write that in. Shall be preserved. Like say there was an old farm or what I'm saying, yeah, like, yeah. or something like that, and you're going to say, shed that's got to stay or whatever. Mm -hmm. Say it was something like that. Some, or, a, or a 150 year old tree. <laughs> You know what I mean? The tree stays. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, that, um, that would, in our current ordinance and in the new OSRD, that would we, we, we would not impact that at all. The developer could do whatever he wanted to do. Exactly. But, but, uh, and we can't force a developer to go to an OSRD mixed use. Mm -hmm. uh, we can only make it as an option. And I think I'm hearing consensus that we should do that. And we should do it in a way... Uh, in a very general way in the ordinance by providing some incentive and some guiding principles and that the actual development document uh, would have to be negotiated between the town and the developer. And I think that's what the zoning board should sign off on too. Why? We signed off on site plan, what's the difference here? Well, it goes to council. So the only thing I would comment. So we should, I think we should uh, review it. Oh. I'm of the opinion that we should make <coughs> mixed use, at least for now in my mind, limited to the nodes you mentioned, 73, 150, and 150 in Lake Brand. Because that's already defined in the right. Ordinance. And this is just exactly yeah. the, if we have a land use plan or even like some base work for developing that and looking at the town as a whole and a physical layout of the town where the best site these things that would be okay. Right now, I'm not the saying one that's existing one that's discussed. Right. But where else well, 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 are, are you when you say mixed use, are you talking about the commercial aspect of it? Or just any any mixed use in terms of uh, moderate price housing? No, I'm only talking about commercial. Okay, I'm with mixed you. Use. I'm, 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 yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm with you. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we, we don't want really to the one fifty seventy three. So the so the triangle we've always talked about. Yeah, and then uh, one fifty and Lake Brand. There so are two nodes that's that mentioned. Planning in. all and How will we do? Sorry. So down where they're planning all the camp. Oh, they're planning all the acres and acres. Hey, the sorry. people that live yeah. around one fifty and Lake Brand have been promised that we were not going to allow any more commercial development right there. They were furious no, no, about no. the possibility. No. 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 You're going the wrong direction. What? There was a resolution passed prohibiting further commercial development on the other way, way, not towards one fifty. Yeah. Wait, going which way? Yeah, On Lake Brand? Which way? Uh, the way away from one fifty, whichever way. Towards, towards town. town. Yeah. Towards town. So which on Lake Brand? Yeah. So south. Yeah. From some one fifty south, no additional commercial yeah. development. So is that what yes. the agreement is? It, no, no, there's no agreement now. It's, it's a, a resolution. A resolution. A resolution is a statement of intent. Okay. That's not binding on any council, mm -hmm. but it's really only a statement of intent by the council who passes it. Got it. No council since then has said we don't agree with it. Uh, so it's out there. The, the original commercial needs assessment said nothing more than 500 foot from that intersection. Right. And that just changed when the dentist office went in. Got it. And it's now 1,000 foot. Yep. Okay. So, and the town doesn't have much more on one fifth, uh, on Lake Grant going south of that. No, it may go to Plainfield Road. Plainfield Road, right. <coughs> it stops right before Plainfield, which is right. where that neighborhood is. So, we just not, that's a big, uh, Mohammed, whatever his name from Book of Atone Bar, it's never. <laughs> So we're talking about the area north of 150 is the other piece, right? Yes, we're talking about right. north of 150. Yeah. I, I'm just identifying it as a general area where there is existing okay. commercial so commercial 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 note. Yes. In my, the, some of the things that have come before me, as yeah, like yeah, there, yeah. Um, most all of that around there, beyond that immediate place, the residential zone, people are building houses on. Ten years ago. Well, yeah. If you look at that corner, right, you got Southern States, uh, Southern Spoker. Right, so yeah, yeah. Yeah. On one side, and then the restaurant grill, grill. I mean, that's pretty much all commercial. There, right? yeah. Yeah. So we get the behind that because there's residential behind some of them. Look at the map, I know there's, some, there's houses behind it right now. Yeah, yeah, but north it's all field from a long way. Yeah. Yeah. On the left side, it is, but on the right side, there's a house back, right, back in there. That's on the old building. Yeah. 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 Wasn't there a guy that came before us that yeah. bought all that? Was was talking about when this whole thing started? He came okay, over. Yeah, that his name? Yeah, I didn't remember his name, but. Because then he owned all that on the right going north. Mm -hmm. It makes sense, it may make sense yeah. that the area's already got. Well, and I picked those because it's already in our ordinance. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's obviously the 73 triangles is a good one. Yeah. And there's probably a few other places. Uh, and, and there could be. Yeah. 
I mean, for instance, we're 73 and 220 coming together. There's a lot of currently zone industrial um, oh. district over yeah. there. And that can be changed at some scale for commercial out there at that point. Well, even the right side of that, on the other well, side of 220, this is just, you know, ideas yeah, big, big property right on the right side of 220 that's like 30 some acres, I mean, the cost from the church is a good one. Because it's, it's, it's commercial now, or high commercial now, so. Right, so. Uh, you know, an analysis, a review and analysis of the town and play out and we felt the patterns are uh, going and we identify those. So there will be some mixed use type developments for commercial so and uh, sure. you know, the different scales of commercial, different type of uses, office building, retail, grocery store, yeah. and perhaps so the mixed use of sure. housing. So what the housing looks like in right. order to get to the to have an impact, it's probably not gonna be, you know, 20,000, you know, or 40,000 acres, or 40,000 square foot lot. So our, I think as far as the, the residential aspect, we have consensus. Uh, but as far as the um, commercial aspect and OSRD mixed use, am I hearing us say you're still interested in pursuing that, but only for the node at uh, I-73 and, and 150 and Lake Grant and... Uh, well, that's what I'm saying for now. Now, he said it. It may, other things may come up, but for now, those are the two that I've been So we wouldn't limit them to those places. We would have in the ordinance that there's this district, OSRDM, with these requirements and the intent of that district, et cetera. And then, um, then that's just a new district. Currently, nothing is zoned that way. Um, people would have to apply uh, for that. Tomira no. would have to apply yeah, for correct. that. Correct, good point. Yeah. So until that comes in, and then even then, there's the general zoning review, rezoning. And then it would have to go through the whole and PRC. And public hearing inputs right. and all yeah. of that. To, you know, so there's a lot. And then again, if we don't say it has to be you know, 50 acres or 100 acres, it can be 10 acres. So you can get something small and taste what still serves the community. Mm -hmm. A little bit of integration of mixed uses. And uh, it doesn't feel like it's out of keeping with the rural mm -hmm. character mm -hmm. and, um, and other things. I think we should dictate where it has to go. I think we should say anywhere in the city. Well, you can do that without, first, I don't think you can, I think you can be real careful. You can only do this here. Yeah. Uh, I think you're going to run into an equal protection problem. But what you can do is look at existing development and say, well, we can look at these four spots and what do they all have in common? How many acres are they? And build it in so that it's going where you want to go. It's a different way. It's and saying the same thing, just getting a dare different way. Yeah, I'm okay with this one. All right, Dick, how do you want us to move this forward so we get this resolved? It's exactly. At least put this one to bed anyway. Do we need a vote? Or do we just show hands? How do we work? Right. That's the key. Is how you what's work? the motion and what's what we voted on? Well, go ahead. We haven't moved to voted on anything so far. Tonight. So it would be No, it's this whole thing as far as I'm concerned. It all I haven't been in a vote. We've just done consensus. We've done consensus uh, on those things, that's correct. Uh, okay. Instead of a vote if we don't if we're having a hard time kinda of nailing down exactly what we wanna say, maybe we do the guiding principles first and flesh it out and then we can say, I vote to you know, approve this, and and then we'll go through the, you know, once it's kind of getting fleshed out. But I think the other option is to, to a little direct the planner, ask the planner to create some. Right in my mind. That's exactly, yeah. yeah. I think that's um, a good idea. Uh, 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 what about Chris? <laughs> Poor Chris. <laughs> well, hey, I got to earn my paycheck, man. Uh, yeah. <laughs> he, he, he's highly confident. He's all in tune on this stuff, so I think it would be a lot easier. Yeah. Looking at something general and then the, 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 the yeah. contraction. Yeah. I, I, I and if it fits what you just said a few minutes ago about figuring out how to fit it in the right spots. That's the key. That definitely should help. That's important. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, and you've got to be working out on your same. That's important. Hey, that's, Bill, that's, that's, that was the gripe we got with all the PD stuff. Hey, Bill? Not next to. Are we going to be able to put a mechanism in here that we could reject? Right now, we're hamstrung. If they meet everything, mm -hmm. we can't reject them. But if they want to come in with something that we don't feel fits the surrounding three or four, are we going to have a mech can we put a mechanism in there and say, look, we need to redesign this, it doesn't fit with the area? Well, um, by state law, right, okay. you're going to approve or disapprove based upon your comprehensive plan. Okay. Um, what does it meet in the comp plan or not meet in the comp plan? And then is it in harmony? with the neighborhood. So if it's not in harmony, you can hang your hat on that. But hopefully the ordinance will be crafted 
well enough that it, when they walk in, it's, it's where it should be. It's, it sounds to me like you're putting a, not, not a whole bunch of burden, but there's requirements. I mean, you, you're going to have to have invested money and know what you're doing to get to the point that it comes to you. Well, it's like you said, if we had a land use plan, all this would be easier. Yeah. We don't have, oh, yeah, we don't. It, it certainly would. Yeah. Well, we had a comprehensive plan that was a little the, newer, the road, a little long in the tooth as it is right now. So, it was in the states. So downtown Greensboro has the central business district. Mm -hmm. And rezoning lots to the central business district requires conti contiguous lots. And so is there any way for us to write something that the lot must be contiguous with, I, I'm not saying necessarily another use because it's, they're going to be limited, so you're unlikely to have multiple ones of these right on top of each other. But who knows, unless we go to smaller lots, like 10 acres, then maybe they could actually start stacking. But you know, if they go to 10 acres, they, they, we do it in a set of it's only like one, one and a half ounces more. Mm -hmm. so, but, but where you're talking about adding mixed use, and which is mixed use commercial, I mean, there, there's areas for that, and if you're mixing it in with residential, maybe mixed use commercial would be good with other commercial, you know, strict commercial right next to it, and then do mixed use commercial right there. And so the commercials are kind of. And that's going to be a product of the rezoning. No. I mean, that's already going to be in the rezoning. Um, I don't think you want to spell that out. Well, then they can then just kind of do it everywhere if it makes. Yeah, it meets all the requirements. I mean, not, not, normally, not normally with the neighborhood they can. Not at what? It's not, not normally with the neighborhood, the neighborhood they can. And, and what would say it's not normally? Well, like, like what would the town be able to say? Your How do you not bring easy work with a Harris Teeter over here? Okay. That's not going to work. Why not? And, 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 who, and who could, by law, stop that? Absolutely. So yeah, we could say by law it's not. No, it would be the board and the uh, council ultimately. Yeah, we can go to the comp plan and say based on these yeah. sections, you don't need it and we're not approving, which is what we do now. Yeah, okay. but I mean, here, yeah, by law, we can. You have a residential, down. you know, older, well established, well valued residential neighborhood. If somebody wants to stick a Harris Teeter on the corner, I think that's like a work. Right. So, do you, do you feel comfortable with having enough to be able to draft something we can work, work on? I start working on it. Okay, and I'll be glad to work with you. Yeah. Since I don't work on well, anything else. Mm -hmm. I have a best reason to get this. Just have a best reason to get this. Somebody told you that Pellet hurt in the yard. I'm trying to find a broken sprinkler. Oh. I'm trying to get done with it. Yeah, we'll need some PhDs. We'll need some PowerPoints. Just just one step before. Hydrology and stormwater management. All right, so. Fired up. The residential is. And I'll take care of all that tomorrow by noon so I can get that. Yeah, yeah, you're fine. You're fine. Yeah, residential is mixed use is, 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 is the easy one to do. The, the difficult one is, is mixed use. Uh, right. It might involve. Right. Right. So our next sure meeting is the tenth, right? Yes. Well, and well, we have to talk about that. Well, and I only bring that up because I would like to see something by the next meeting. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, come on. I threw you under the bus so bad. Uh, Please talk to well, us. Well, right? <laughs> Hey, if you get us the sign ordinance, then that'll distract us for a couple weeks. <laughs> I got it. I told you, I got no, it. No, I mean, we get us, get us a final. I mean, no, no, I, I mean, I'm not trying to push you, but I, no, no, you know, we're, we're actually, actually there's, I'm not trying to rush out. I know we want to do it right, but no, we got a lot to go through. I agree. Right. I agree. Um, I mean, but by having that uh, directive to work on that, there's plenty of other things we can do for the next few weeks. Look at that. And, and I think it's a picture stuff done. Right? We're going to come back and talk about the next meeting at the end. So, okay, so. Uh, so the open space residential that you've got right now, you're currently requiring 50% of the open space. There's a 50% of open space that has to be buildable. I'm sorry? That You said the 50% of the open space in the OS residential. OSRD. Has, OSRD has to be buildable space. That's what you're saying? 50% of the open space has to be no, Currently that's not the way. What, what, is, what did y'all say you change it to? That's what they want. To do. That's what we want to change. That's what you want to change it to. So in the future, so you would it would crowd the houses on smaller lots, and in the future, a town any town council could change that, and they could just build on the rest of that space, right? Yeah. Why no, can't, why it, would have, they? it would require a, a change to the zoning ordinance. You'd have to have a text amendment to the zoning, the development ordinance. To so the UDO. Right. But they could do that. Well, any 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 town council in the future could change that. Right? Maybe yes, maybe no. 
Oh, right. And, yes, maybe no. And maybe no, because the neighbors may have a, an objection to it. That oh, this was passed under sure. existing law, and now you're changing it, and that's how you get sued. Yeah, you know, in a legitimate well, you house a house and, and, and But down the road, if, if a council or a board said, let's explore this, then the words would be put upon me to do that work and develop a, you know, the idea of altering the zoning and uh, the UDO um, to remove that. So you go back to just 50%, not 50% not buildable land. Um, it won't be uh, your time. Which creates other things, because now if we got 50% buildable land and we got... Um, Okay. Uh, right. A ten acre lodge and two and a half acres has to be buildable, so now they've gone down to the maximum buildable area. So it makes it a little harder for a developer to achieve what we're talking about. Oh, it's hard okay. Because you're taking away. All right. Okay. Well, 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 we still have time, and Bill's still here. But that, we, we talked about thirty mm -hmm. minutes. One, let's go back to the uh, the ten core. Because mm -hmm. uh, Kathy's very interested in that, and, and we're all interested in getting it behind us too. So, because currently we have a, well, I thought, a town core district M. I mean, we do. Which allows the integration just down the corridor. You know, you can have residential and residential side by side. Right. Okay. And that was, that's new too. No. That all no, the, no, no those always definitions always. of, no, those four sections of the town, of Summerfield Road that's in, that we're looking at, I don't think that's in the original UDO. You know, like where it says, uh, what section is that? Give me a hint. So we've, we've, had, we've had the town core overlay mixed use yes, we for, forever. And we actually denied people who wanted to rezone something in the residential part to make it mixed use. That's happened before. We denied people at what? That was that were north of um, Centerfield Road, one of the houses north of Centerfield Road, yeah. that wanted to convert it to a commercial real estate okay. office. Okay. And we denied it. Got it. Okay. Because it was not uh, consistent with the, the, the order. Right. Okay. <clears throat> and they didn't appeal. Sorry. All right, so I mean, to me, the, the, but the overlay that I've seen on a map, it doesn't have anything to do with the properties that are there. It's like somebody took a marks a lot and said, this wide or 500 feet from the road, and it really doesn't accommodate the neighborhood that's already mm -hmm. there. There's already a neighborhood there, not just a street. If you actually go off of Summerfield Road and drive around the back, there's a neighborhood there already. Mm -hmm. and, and to me, that whole town core overlay as it is does not accommodate exist what exists now. But the town core overlay is, is really a concept. Yeah, it's a concept. Yeah. It's a concept. Somebody said, oh, 500 feet from the road or 1,000 feet from the road. I don't know how they did it. Well, that's how they did it. I don't know. So, well, or, I think that's how well, it's defined. I said concept. It's a defined based on the, the size of the area, the Summerfield Road focus area. And, and, the size of that comparatively is 500 feet. The unlike our scenic corridors, which are 1,500 feet. All right, so okay. we're talking about the possibility of expanding the town center village to allow for more uh, options for um, moderately priced housing. Well, can we start out in small steps? Do we at least agree that the town core should run from up here where, where it hits 220 down to the far end? How, and how Well, I'm not, don't worry about yeah. width. I'm just talking about Summer, right summer to Summerfield Road. Yeah, yeah where it gets up here at 220 on the yeah, north end and the south end. The south end. Yes. My question is we need both. If we're going to do your first site, we need the second site. Well, but there are two different issues. If the both goals to provide affordable housing, it's one of those is like variety of things. Variety. 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 We all know what we're trying to do, but if we're trying to, if we're trying to accomplish those goals, is doing just the first one enough if we're going to say, okay, you can do it over here, you can do it over here, we just leave the town core alone. Uh, or, or, do, or do just the town core. We need to do both. I, mean, we, I know it's a quick risk of work writing something. If we can really expand the town core enough to solve all our problems. I, I'm all about expanding the town core and not having the other district because that gets it in the right a single area that kind of keeps it all combined together. So uh, it, would, it, would, it would be like an, an overland, I think. Yeah. Or something yeah. Like that. yeah. yeah. 
And I mean, Kathy presented one that was big. Pre yes. Yeah. It's big. It's big. It is um, big. Mm -hmm. uh, and I don't, I don't think anyone's really going to support mm -hmm. something that large. So well, that's why I was starting small checks. Yeah. We at least agree to the link. But to answer your question, my personal opinion is I think we should look at both. Because one, I think the town core to me is going to be more residential, maybe some mixed use. I think the other one's going to be just the other way around. Yeah. But that's my mm -hmm. So I, I, I concur that the 220 intersection on the north and the south side of some of the Well, the, where's the ball? In relation, isn't the ball field right around there? Ball field's across from that. Yeah, across, across the street. The street. Across yeah. the street. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it makes sense so to have there's ball field right here. The development and there's, there's, your, there's ball field. I mean, there's yeah. ball field. Yeah. There's your cemetery. Yeah. Okay. That's a, a for sale piece of property right now. About 26 acres. Zone. There's also oh, two. Yeah. There's the right. Town Court District R and then Town Court District M. So it makes use this for yeah, yeah. It's exclusively residential. For use. And they're trying to. Yeah, I don't think there's a lot of open space in the town pool. I mean, in, in this area that we're talking about. So the biggest piece of property I have is the one that I originally bought, 8.6 acres. The rest of them, I mean, the 27 acres is different parts that parcels that I have bought around that. Mm -hmm. There's David Couch's giant chunk of uh, property that's, un that's south of, of where my house is. Like in its no, okay. it's north of where Greensboro. Yeah, he owns the, all of this right here. Yeah, I know. I don't think the town of And then have open space requirements. I agree. And then I agree as well. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> wow. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> and I mean, right? We have parks. Man, and you can even have, have pocket parks but too. That's pocket. What I, I want to live with pocket. So it's not I, exactly. I want to build a right. pocket in the neighborhood. That's why I've seen one of those. Yeah, just this a little green in the front and little towns all the way outside. I think the mix right should, should, right should, right should, should face uh, Summerfield like on Summerfield like Road on either side. So just that it is. Don't change it. Agreed. So back to the TCD district. Jeff said proposed for some for Summerfield Road. Um, oh, really? To make it an entire So that's agreed upon for the length. Right. How about the width? Well, that's where you go. Well, the, the, the width on the on the, uh, on the east, east side, side is, is determined by two twenty. Yeah, oh, I think uh, that's a good one. Right. So okay. then now we're going west. Uh, now we're going west. You don't want to cross over two twenty? I don't no. know if we should do that. Not for the town. Well, wait a minute. Through the town core, you're going to go all. The, you're taking this north and south Summerfield Road from two twenty to two twenty, and you're making that town core. Well, we're setting oh, the east like boundary as the east, two, is, is two, east two twenty. Yeah, it's two twenty. So they could, which, they, is, which it is now, I think. Yes. Yeah, so they could develop this green along uh, along the the road on two twenty, which I I disagree with because then it's just nothing but in your nothing but big, but commercial 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 and there's no oh, visual think, break which this offers a beautiful visual break. Uh, there's buffers, there's the, the right of way for the, the highway, and there's a lot of things that are keeping I think the town, I think the town more back in this council also has a resolution to be no more development, commercial development between uh, um, this road out here, uh, 150, and the other 150. Again, so, so, that, that's not binding though. No. 